Welcome to video number three in my series of presentations that will attempt to demystify tourism. I'm Dr. Stan McGahey, the creator and narrator of the videos. Their content is based on my experiences worldwide as a professor, consultant, writer, manager, and tourist in more than 80 countries on six continents. The only reason to develop tourism anywhere is to benefit the local people. That's the golden rule of tourism. It's the basic consideration and the overriding concept for successful tourism development. If tourism is not going to benefit the local people, then why would they want it developed in their community? Is the primary goal of local development to benefit outsiders? Of course not. But it can often work that way if the best interests of the community are ignored. The main reason that a community embraces tourism is to strengthen its economic mix by creating jobs and generating additional wealth that increases its standard of living and its quality of life. Tourism is especially valued when a community has an abundance of natural and cultural resources that will attract tourists but an insufficient supply of the resources necessary to develop and sustain other industries. In addition to its economic impact, the tourism industry also creates socio-cultural and environmental impacts, and the destination's community is directly affected by all three. So each of these impacts is an area of major concern for the local people. Unfortunately, most governments and businesses focus just on tourism's ability to make money. This is especially true of governments at higher levels, outside investors, and franchises or chain operations within the hospitality sectors whose headquarters are elsewhere and their sole purpose for being present within the community is to make money. In many parts of the world, corrupt governments and self-serving politicians violate the golden rule of tourism by undercutting the interests of the local community in order to line their own pockets. Why is benefiting the local people the only reason to develop tourism anywhere? It's because they live there. As communities are developed into tourist destinations, it's the local people who have the most to gain or lose from that development. Their vested interest goes way beyond mere financial investment. Each of tourism's three major impacts can be good or bad depending on the destination and its circumstances, and residents must live with all the results. A community may be just another destination for the tourist, but for the residents, it's their home. The golden rule of tourism applies everywhere. It's true whether it's the first time that a small area makes a commitment to develop a tourism industry or it's a large established destination seeking to enhance its tourism products and make tourism an even more important economic engine. First and foremost, the opinions and well-being of the local people always matter. They must not be marginalized. To optimize the benefits that local people will receive, they must be meaningfully involved in all phases and components of tourism development, from helping to create the destination's tourism philosophy and goals, to becoming managers, leaders, and entrepreneurs, to assuming the many responsible positions that directly serve tourists and ensure they enjoy their visit and become loyal repeat and referral customers. All forms of development create change, and it's the local people who should make the decision about what the limits of acceptable change are. Their voice must be heard early and often throughout all the decision-making processes that chart the direction and scope of tourism development and growth within their community. So whenever the topic of developing tourism within a community is discussed, remember the golden rule of tourism and make sure steps are taken to ensure that it's going to benefit the local people. Organizations around the world are questioning whether tourism really benefits local people. Hopefully they are making this critically important issue a higher priority among all of tourism stakeholders. Media coverage and public hearings also help to ensure a transparent and lively discussion of all the issues and impacts. Now I invite you to watch video number four, Tourism Stakeholders Triangle. Thank you.